Hey guys, it's Paige Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a video with you which is all about the watercolor kit and like art sketching kit I take on travel. So it is portable and light and easy to just stick in your bag and carry around. I'm actually filming this from San Francisco where I've been traveling the last week and I did get my Friday vlog up late so I still wanted to make sure I did a Monday video. So I am going to share the contents of this today and kind of go through everything and I will say this trip has been really rainy so I didn't really get to sketch as much as I would have liked to so I had this more like on days in my backpack where I went to a cafe um, but I didn't have it with me all the time because I ended up bringing just like a smaller bag but I thought it would be cool to share it anyway because I forgot I had this case also, you can hear all the San Francisco traffic in the background, but I forgot I have this case and it's really useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk all about this. So this case I've actually had for years and it's from Anthropology, and you can tell it's a little bit different than the current Anthropology aesthetic. They've kind of changed it over time, but it's actually a dop kit like for your toiletries when you travel. But the reason I love it is like, it's so roomy and it unzips. And it actually has a binder in the middle and all these um, pouches that are on the binder rotated in there. So it's really amazing the way it's laid out. There's also pouches for pens and then there's a little pocket in the back. So you get all of this room. It's really cool. It would be cool for toiletries too, but I think it's even better for art supplies. So I will go through what's in here and it's nice that I can keep it all separated. So to get started, I have all these pens back here. And the most important one is my travel watercolor brush from Koi. You guys have seen this before in past watercolor supply videos. I also just bought a new one. There's a really great art supply store here called Flax. And I bought a new brush from there because they had like a number two brush tip and I'm usually never able to find one that small. So I bought that, they're like five or six bucks. Um, and it's funny, as I'm talking here, my friend has her supplies out on her desk and she has this one too with a really fine point and so the new one I got probably has a tip like that small. So this is always essential because you can fill it with water and take it on the go and not have to bring a cup of water. I have this random orange colored pencil that I honestly didn't really intend to bring but it was already in the case so I just brought it. I thought it could be useful and then also at the at Flax I bought a red colored pencil so sometimes I like to just throw a little bit of color in there. Um, I have a gold and a silver pen that are just kind of fun. I honestly should take these out and use them for like more decorative things but that's okay. And then I have these three Winsor & Newton watercolor markers, which I kept in here because I felt like those were most useful for on the go because you don't have to bring your paints with you and you can just work with these and then the brush. I don't love these. Um, I have shared a video review of these on my channel before if you want to go back and look for it or I will link it in the description box. I'll also link the videos where I talk about this brush, but I don't get a ton of use out of these, but they're kind of fun to have in there. And then I just have this nice mechanical pencil also because I think it's also important to have a pencil. So moving on to the other pouches, I have this one which you can see is really empty and I kind of just brought this for the sake of being in San Francisco. It's a little moleskin-esque notebook and I got this the last time I was in San Francisco at a little shop near Ghirardelli. So I don't know what it was called but you can see it has all of the different areas like Soma, Golden Gate Park, Telegraph Hill, which is kind of fun because this is the first trip. This is actually my fifth time being in San Francisco and this is the first time I feel like I've known more of the neighborhoods and like what the vibe of each one is. I still can't get around 100% on my own but this is kind of cool. And if I can find a brand on this, I will tell you. Nope, I have no idea, but it just has lined paper on the inside. So I actually didn't get a chance to use this, but now that I've seen it, I like remember I have it, I will get around to using it, but I brought that just for the sake of bringing it. And then there's this zipper pouch, which is nice because it really is roomy. And this is where I have my Koi watercolor box. And this is where, um, you know what? I shouldn't have said that this is a Koi brush because it might be, but it might be Pentel, but this isn't the collapsible one. This box actually comes with the collapsible pen. So when you put these pieces together, it makes one of those aquash brushes. Um, but this is my watercolor kit, and this is not the one that I use 
like when I'm at home in my studio working. This is like definitely for travel. I've had this since I was 12. It's very old. These are all the Koi paints that come with the kit. And then these are like Holbein. This is actually Indian. Oh, what is that brand? It's Indian Yellow in Holbein. Yes. And then these are like Windsor and Newton. So these are higher quality, but they need to be refilled. I have the tubes to fill them. But I wasn't necessarily intending to use this kit the most on the trip. And what I ended up using more was the one that's in the back here in this little pocket, which is my Peerless watercolor kit that I use very often. I got mine on Etsy. Some people have been asking me and I will link the um, Etsy shop below. It is from all of me artsy from Beth. So I tend to use this more. So that's in there. So that's basically what I do for paint if I'm not using just pencils. And I did miss a few things here in this pouch, which are basically a pencil sharpener for any pencil I might have. And then I have two white erasers in here. I always use the white ones and just these cap ones work well for me, but I do have like the block ones too. So I will put the kit back in there. And then the last couple things I have in the kit are paper related and I kind of just stuck this in here because it fit on its own. But this is a set of watercolor postcards that I have shared in a past art supply video. So that's that and they're just these nice squares and they just come right off and they have a postcard backing. That one came off too easily but those are really useful. You could send one to a friend and it's kind of cool for travel. So those are in there. I will also link the video where I first shared these. And then the last thing in here is my little kit of watercolor trading cards. And there's actually only one left in here. But these are cut to size so that you can trade them with friends. And I do have a small collection of people who have like sent me some just out of the blue. Um, and it's really fun. So I try to make those when I can. I probably should make one of these at the airport which I'm about to head out to I just have to change my clothes do my hair and makeup and then I'm gonna head off to the airport but yeah there is the whole kit and I was really looking forward to sharing this with you because I don't always travel so I was like hmm, good timing to share this and um, I don't know exactly where you would find such a case as this. I will try to search for some on Amazon if I have the time. And that's it, it just sips away, it goes into my backpack, I store it, it's amazing. So yeah, that has been my travel watercolor kit. It is definitely always changing, but this is what I brought with me for, to San Francisco. I'm glad I could share it with you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on Wednesday with a new painting video. I'm really looking forward to being back home and getting back into the rhythm of like normal art and business life and see Jake. So anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love to have you here and join in on everything creative that's going on. And until my next video, I'm sending all of my positive and creative vibes your way. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Monday. I just sent Jake off to work and I am getting into my day. Um, I'm going to start my day just making a massive brain dump of everything I have to do this week. 